Hello everybody, this is the Lysol, welcome to my Moff Gideon playtesting conclusions video. Uh, over the weekend I did a lot of playtesting with Moff Gideon and the Imperial Troopers in the Galactic Challenge. It was actually a really good one for it. I was really only able to do a lot of damage to the uh, G12 tier of it. But I feel like I'm pretty much using my troopers against G12 characters at this point anyway. Only the occasional relics, and that's if it's Night Sisters or something. Bounty Hunters, something that's really easy for the troopers to get in front of. Um, I basically decided that going forward in this next GAC, I'm going to do it one of four different ways. Uh, three... I have three sets of two teams that are uh, pretty evenly split up troopers. Uh, and then I have another set of two teams that is basically everybody on one team. And then the second team is led by Gar Saxon or, you know, what have you. So I, uh, I managed to get my Moff Gideon up to gear 11 and four stars. I still have not convinced my wife to let me spend $100 on getting him up to 7 stars. So I guess that's probably not going to happen until he becomes free-to-play accessible, which is fine. Uh, I've found that he is viable, completely viable at 4 stars. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but as a support character, uh, he's amazing. Uh, his control of the situation is crazy good. And I have him modded at an absolutely ludicrous amount of speed, 293. So pretty much against anything, he goes first. So um, I'm going to start with these uh, playtesting videos. This first one, I use uh, Veers, Stark, Death Trooper, Short Trooper, and Range Trooper. This is probably my main two team split I'm going to be doing here. So I got this here. Uh, they did pretty well. Um, having to use Stormtrooper is kind of mess since my Stormtrooper is only 12,000 but I feel like this team could still take out Night Sisters. This team is like 78k something like that. I could still take out 100k Night Sisters with this team. My Stark outruns anybody I'm pretty sure he's at 275 speed something like that and as you can see they're doing pretty well here uh, it's tough to get around taunts and everything but this this team really is nothing all that special and the and the burning and everything but I these ended so quickly that all that special stuff really didn't mean didn't amount to much so as you can see they you know they do pretty standard stuff for a uh, troopers team. Um, you know, nothing crazy here. Uh, the next team is Gideon, Piet, Magma Trooper, Shore Trooper, and Snow Trooper. Uh, I'm putting Piet with Gideon because Piet is only five stars. I did buy his Zeta though. Uh, for this GAC. This is a very viable team here uh, with Pia and Gideon and then you get like the mini Stark effect with uh, the Snow Trooper unique and everything. As you can see the damage is still really good even though I'm rocking two less than seven star characters in here. Actually my Shore Trooper is only six stars as well. So uh, this is what's disappointing here is the amount of damage that that AOE daze does, which is not much. But I'd imagine once I get to uh, seven stars, it'll be fine. Um, you actually get a chance to use uh, the Emperor's Trap, or no, the uh, Inevitable Defeat in this team because they it's just a weaker team. But it's still fully capable of taking out this g12 resistance team with the handbag brothers and you know as you'll see it'll come it, it's just easy 
Um, my next setup is going to probably be just the best overall team I can make with it. Um, you'll see in a second once this video ends. Um, I uh, am running Veers, Gideon, Stark, Piet, and Range Trooper uh, with a Veers lead to get the most speed. So it'll get me 20 speed. That puts Gideon at over 300. And at 310 speed, he's going first every time. There was another way a friend of mine and I were talking about modding it to have Stark go first. But I find that I'm probably going to have a better time if I can just reset the turn meter at the beginning with Gideon and then just kind of go through the motions. So the, the optimal, there's two turn meter, uh, or there's, there's two turn orders that are optimal here. One is Stark, or yeah, the, the most optimal I think would be Stark, Piet, Gideon and then range and veers. But the one I'm going for is Gideon, Stark, Piet, then range, then veers. And with the the first way you're doing it, you're basically coming around and having all of your AOEs go off all at once, and then you get the buffs from range trooper and everything. I, I feel like either way, this is super powerful, and I'm gonna be outrunning everybody. Next, you're going to see this really crappy Gar Saxon team. I'm not even sure if I win this fight. I think I do. I, I've considered putting the Zeta on Gar Saxon just for this because it causes him to assist every time. But I, I think, honestly, I'm still able to beat this. It's just tough. Yeah, Gar Saxon's gone. <laughs> no, I get smoked. So I, I, I probably use this as a cleanup team if I use the Gideon Stark Veers lineup. Uh, means I kind of wasted the Zeta on Gideon's lead, but I'll probably use them both ways. Uh, next is uh, Gideon Snow Trooper, Range Trooper, Death Trooper, and Shore Trooper. Uh, this is my first alternative lineup. Uh, I don't like this one as much as the original lineup I had, but it works. There's nothing, I don't know, you don't have Piet in there, but you do have Range Trooper and then you have the mini uh, Veers effect from Snow Trooper. It's really high damage compared to the other team I had with Gideon, but it's the, that's mainly a function of you know where I have my Imperial Troopers geared. Uh, as you can see, they're still able to take out any of this here. It's really not an issue. As long as you can outspeed them. And I will definitely be able to outspeed most stuff. I, I honestly think if I can... Uh, if I have enough speed, my troopers will be able to counter Darth Revan. And maybe a few other higher tier teams and I don't have a single G12 trooper either uh, I think my Veers is 11 and my Gideon is 11 everybody else is 10, 9, 8, 7 and half of them are 7 they're really not impressive so then the obvious uh, team I have coming up here is you know the trio with the leftovers uh stormtrooper and magma trooper this team still gets out in front of them i'm pretty sure does pretty well here yeah one basically once you get one kill the turn meter train goes and then there's nothing stopping you i did put the omega on uh Magma Trooper just for this GAC in case I have to use him. And just like that, it's done. 45 seconds against G12 Resistance with the Handbag Brothers. Uh, next one is uh, Veer Stark Piet Shore Trooper and Magma Trooper. Uh, it's basically it's the same lineup just with the different tank. I just wanted to see how it interacted 
differently. It's pretty much the same, uh, except Shore Trooper is better than Stormtrooper, at least for now. And I wanted to see how uh, Stormtrooper interacted with Gideon. But as you can see, no problems whatsoever, even with my six star shore trooper and my gear eight magma trooper that I've never used Piet before honestly and that Zadon Piet is just insane and then the last team is Gideon range death trooper snow trooper and storm trooper uh, I you know basically what was left over from the other one uh, I, th I like the way that Range Trooper and Gideon interact and Snow Trooper if I have to split the teams I'm pretty confident I'm going to put the higher DPS characters with Gideon and use the lower DPS characters with Veers and Stark because Veers and Stark can handle it better I really wish that that AoE did more damage but his control of the situation at the beginning is so, so nice. Let's see if I take him out here. It was a few days since I recorded this. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts and what kind of, uh, what kind of teams, you know, maybe you hadn't thought of running for, uh, for Grand Arena using your everybody's brand new Troopers team. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know. Maybe there's a team I hadn't thought of. Uh, be sure to follow me on Parlor, BitChute, Twitter, and Minds. And uh, with all that, you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one.